Hey guys, it's Mike at youarethepath.com. So I wanted to give you some other options, some other avenues where you can look for a solution to your tension headaches. It's something that I used to suffer from quite frequently and I very rarely get them now. And if I do feel tension coming on, I find a way to let go of it before it starts to turn into a full-blown tension headache. So the first thing I want to draw your attention to is a couple of books that were brought to my attention. The Divided Mind by E. Sano. He's written this book and also Healing Back Pain. Seems like it's not related to tension headaches but a lot of headaches begin with tension in the shoulders that's how I used to experience it so what I learned from those two books is the simple act of switching your awareness from the physical sensations and onto the emotions that you're experiencing your internal psychology what the author found through treating his many patients was that these headaches would begin from something that is happening emotionally and just the act of switching that their awareness on to the emotional aspects onto what is happening in their lives at the time helped them they were able to find some relief some relief in knowing where it's coming from and I experienced that myself after reading the book. Whenever I felt a tension headache coming on, I was more curious as to, oh, I'm experiencing a tension headache. And I know now that that's brought on by my psychology and my emotions. And it got me curious about that. And I kind of was more open to inquiring as to what's going on in my life and how did I walk down this road that led to the tension headaches what beliefs do I have about myself or this person that is causing me to re react with this tension headache and through that self inquiry I was able to pinpoint beliefs that weren't serving me beliefs that weren't empowering me and that led to some important self-discoveries and less stress and less tension. Another tool that you can use is something known as EFT and that stands for Emotional Freedom Technique and the form of EFT that I use is a form known as FASTER EFT and EFT is a very simple technique. It involves tapping on points on the body. And as you do that, you can say various affirmations. Now, it can feel a bit strange, you know, come on, tapping on my face, what's that all about? But I've tried it, it works and it's been so good it inspired me to actually become a practitioner so that I can um, support my clients with this technique so again it's just another way of letting go so how you would use it is when you notice the tension you say I release and let it go this tension release and let it go I don't need to feel this tension anymore release and let it go release and let it go. Grab your wrist, take a deep breath and say peace. For an in-depth explanation of this technique you can con contact me and I can give you a, a brief overview and if you like we can do a session from there. Now the tension that you feel in your shoulders and your traps the muscles when they're in that state they have a lack of oxygen breathing exercises can help daily breathing exercises whether that's Tai Chi or Qigong or just 
very simple breathing exercises that you get from uh, Google. If you Google breathing exercises, there'll be a ton of websites will come up with various different practices. I, I'm familiar with Qigong, that's a ancient Chinese art of breathing and that's what works for me and I do that daily. It keeps my blood oxygenated and I'm just generally more grounded, more centered, peaceful. There's less thoughts in my head. and I, I experience less stress in general. The other thing with tension headaches is it's really brought on by a lot of inner dialogue. Loads of competing thoughts. One thought jumping to a next thought, usually about something that happened or something that is about to happen. Something that you're afraid may not go your way or it could be a case of a lot of uncertainty around what could happen. And what's helped is again just to be aware of that. If I feel the tension coming on I ask myself how much inner chatter do I have in my mind right now? And that's usually enough to bring my awareness to the present moment and I take myself out of my head into my body, into the room, into the world of solid solid objects and it just kind of reins my ego in a little bit because let's face it the ego the mind it can get carried away we tell ourselves a story the story of me the story of how things never work out for me fear of the fear of what I did fear of what I said what they said fear of what may happen so this video is to turn your awareness onto the underlying causes of the tension. And the last thing I'm going to leave you with is switching your awareness onto the fact that whatever is arising in the body is there as a signal. So the headache is a messenger. It's there to let you know, hey, I need you to take a note, take note of what you're doing, take note of your emotions. Something's not quite right. And if you treat it as a messenger, you'll get a different experience out of it. You'll be more likely to think, okay, stop. This is telling me something. Something's not working and you start to change. You know, the definition of madness is doing the same thing over and over again, expecting a different result. So it's like bashing your head against a wall, inflicting pain on yourself. And sometimes it takes for something to happen, something to manifest physically before we actually take the emotions seriously. I hope that video has helped to give you other options to get to the bottom of the cause of your tension headaches and to ultimately let go of them and to experience life in a more peaceful, chilled out way. And if the tapping feels stupid and you're reluctant to do it to the point where you don't even try it, then you really have to ask yourself, you know, how much do I want to let go of this tension headache? Do I want to let go of it enough to try something that maybe feels a little foolish? And that may prompt you enough to give it a go. Hope you got something from that. Catch you later. Peace.